In this video, I'm going to break the game with the Falx, one of the best curve swords you can find in the DLC. I'm going to show you the best way to build this weapon and I will use it to defeat every major boss of the base game and the DLC without taking a single hit. Today we are going to use the Falx on plus 10 and any seal we have available to cast our main buffs. We need any weapon with the Raptor Optimist Touch War to easily dodge their advanced light explosion attack or any other difficult attack. And to start the fight with the bleed buffs active, we can use any weapon with Seppuku. This time I'm actually going to do this. We are going to be rocking 3 pieces of the Rakshasa's armor set that will increase our damage by a total of 6% and we will combine it with the white mask for a 10% damage boost with each bleed proc. The best talismans we can use for this build are the Lord of Blood's Exultation, the Shard of Alexander, the Millicent's Prosthesis and the Roaring Windsor Insignia. If you're missing one of these talismans, don't. I'm just kidding, you can use the Claw Talisman as well if you are not going to use the skill, but in that case I recommend you to use the Power Stance moveset of the weapon and replace the Rakshasa's chest for the Graper's Black Wheel armor. This way you will get the most of the Power Stance jump attacks. Both combinations are great, in some scenarios it will be better if you use the skill and in some others, it's, and in some others it will be better to use the jump attacks. In our Flask of Wondrous Physic we are going to use the Blood Sucking Crack Tear and the Thorny Crack Tear. This is the combo that will grant you the highest damage possible, but feel free to use any other tier you find useful. This weapon deals only physical damage, that's why our best body buff is going to be Blood Boil Aromatic, but if you don't like crafting, feel free to use Flame Grandia Strength. And I'm going to use the Large Glintstone Scrap to deal some stance damage on the enemies, but you can also use any other weapon like the Club or a Katana. And it's important to mention that this item is completely optional, I just like to kill the bosses as fast as possible. And as any other build of this YouTube channel, this one devours stamina, so be sure to craft some Pickle Torten Legs to boost your stamina regeneration speed. To get the most out of this weapon and to have an optimal build, we are going to use 50 on vigor, 22 on mind, 40 on endurance, 45 on strength, 80 on dexterity and 25 on faith. Golden Vow and Flame Grandia strength are going to be our main buffs. And as you can clearly see, I'm using my strategy blessing on the level 20 and if you want to deal the same amount of damage I'll be dealing to the hardest DLC bosses, be sure to have it on the level 20 as well. If you don't want to farm runes or materials for your Elden Ring builds, MMOEXP is the best web service where you can easily acquire as much runes and items as you wish for the best price. Use my code CARLOSEN to get a 5% discount on your purchases. Thanks MMOEXP for sponsoring today's video. Now I'll show you how to buff your character with this build. First you have to use your Flask of Wondrous Physic, then you are going to cast Golden Vow and you are going to use a Pickle Turtle Neck. Just after that you are going to use your body buff, I'm going to be using the Blood Boil Aromatic. Then you are going to use Seppuku and to hand your Falks, refill your FP, your HP and with that you should be ready to go. Now that we have completed and optimized our build, what do you say if we begin with the boss fight? Come on, baby. Come on. It destroyed Malinia. Come on. That's crazy, baby. Come on, baby. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, it worked. I'll need the stance damage on Radag on the Elden Beast fight though. But in this one I don't need stance damage at all. We just need damage. <laughs> and we have more damage than we need. Nice. There we go. <laughs> As I told you guys, we have <laughs> enough damage. That's it. <laughs> this build is amazing, guys. <laughs> now I run straight forward and it should work. Yeah. <laughs> I told you guys. That's crazy. Come on. Oh, jeez, bro. This is beautiful, baby. <laughs> this is beautiful, bro. <laughs> Come on, bad boy. Yeah, it worked. Come on, baby. Come on. Come on. Come on. This time we get it. Let's go, bro. This is amazing, man. No way. No way. The best bill in the world. Why am I? Oh, my God. Just ignore it.
we did it, bro. <laughs> nice. Okay, Relana. Be prepared. Come on, baby. Give it to me. Okay. Give it to me now. Come on, baby. Let's go. Let's go. Yeah, it's possible to deal more damage. That's nice, guys. <laughs> we better start running, bro. Take this. There you go, down, bad boy. And take this. Ooh. Oh. Oh, beautiful. Beautiful strategy, bruh. <laughs> okay, let's go. Come on, bad boy. I got you, homie. I got you, homie. What? No way, dude. Oh. Wow. Okay. Come on. That's four. That's five. Come on, baby. Get down. Come on, baby. Get down. <laughs> That's it, guys. You see any smooth. <laughs> Let's get it, guys. Come on. One more. Come on. What? Come on. It works to me. It works to me, bro. It works to me, bro. Let's go. Nice. <laughs> I'm running out of... No, wait. Okay. Okay, let's go, let's go, let's go. This is so funny, bro. The RNG I'm getting, it's, it's not even real, guys. Okay, take that, bad boy. That's nice. Now we send it. Come on. Nice. This might be the good one, guys. Come on. Come on, bro. Let's go, baby! Let's go! Oh, here we go. Let's go, baby. We got it. We got it. That's good, baby. Now we go. Now we go. Hey there, bad boy. What is it? Oh, I don't like this one. Oh, hit him. Nice. Honestly, that was very lucky, dude. Oh my god, this is crazy. Let's go. Come on, baby. Give it to me, baby. Oh, way, dude. <laughs> I don't think it's necessary, dude. Oh, maybe it is, you know? Maybe it is. To deal a little bit of more damage. Oh, that's good, that's good, that's good, baby. Come on. Come on, bad boy. Oh! <laughs> that was amazing, guys. <laughs>